this will we will see the call recording and monitoring uh, using media cells. This one. Okay. So we have this topology. So in this topology, we have a switch connecting CUCM, our gateway, which is connecting to PSTN. We have a phone here PC on PC1. This PSTN phone we will use for testing now to make call from the PSTN to the phone inside your site. OK, and the, this phone is on PC3 in our lab. And this is on PC1. Okay. The PSTN phone, outside phone, is running on PC3 in our lab. Ah, oh, in the lab, the yeah. PC3. Uh, PC3. What does, what, what does that enable? It enables you to connect to the TV. Oh, okay. I'll share my screen on the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we have this phone on PC1 and this on PC3. We make calls between these two phones. Our recording server here is Media Sense. Okay. This is our gateway connecting the PSTN through SIP trunk. And we have a SIP trunk between the gateway and CUCM. In this one, first, as usual, prepare the discovery. So register the phones. So on the PC1, we'll use the name HQC IPC1 and TFTP IP is 10.1.5.5. And on the PSTN phone, the TFTP server is 10.1.99.252. On, on, on the PSTN, oh, PSTN PSTN the yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And device name, we can use the default one. That's not a problem. Next step is so uh, in CUCM, the HQK tray and the PSTN simulator are pre-configured with proper dial plan. So it's just telling you that the dial plan and inbound outbound call uh, routing is enabled by a default here, pre-configured. You can dial this number to make a test call from HQ phone to PSTN phone. Yeah. So this is the phone number of the PSTN phone. Mm -hmm. Accept the incoming call on PSTN phone, keep it active for a few seconds and then hang up. Then dial this number, which is our HQ inside, oh, okay. to make yeah to make test call from PSTN to HQ. Accept the incoming call, keep it active for a few seconds, and hang up. Both tests should be successful. So this is just to verify that our registration completed on successful. the phone. Yeah, network-based recording with a gateway. Now we will configure network-based recording with a gateway. So for that, on PC1, use the browser to log into CUCM using the credentials. Then under call routing, class of service partition, we have to create one partition named recorded partition, recorded TT. Like this. Then under the same, we create a search space. So two things we need, partition and search space. So create a new uh, calling search space, name uh, and put the partition in the search space, the recorded field, into recorded CSS, which is the name of the calling search space created. Okay, now choose device, device settings, recording profile, and create a recording profile. Now we have need to create a recording profile. We can use this profile as the name. Choose recording CSS, the CSS we have created, the calling search space, and then enter this number. We are using this as the DN number 18777 in the recording destination address field. This des this address will be used by CUCM to make a recording call to the uh, recorder. So this is a number which is making the call between the recorder and CUCM. OK, then we have to create a trunk. So in device trunk, create a new SIP trunk that points to the recorder. A recorder is media sense. 
So use recording trunk as the name. Choose HQ in the device pool. IP address. This as the destination address. And this is SIP profile we have to choose. These are some default configurations. Required ones. Choose HQ SIP profile as the SIP profile and reset the trunk. And then save configuration. Once this is done, we can go and create a route pattern. So under call routing, all this we are doing on the CUCM. So call routing, route hunt, route pattern, create a route pattern for the SIP trunk. And it must match this pattern, the number. Choose pattern, uh, the partition, record a partition. And choose the trunk as recording trunk. So these are some fees it will ask for. You have to select these. The next is device trunk. Find the SIP trunk for this destination and open its settings. Scroll down and click this trunk connects to the recording enabled gateway. OK, so we are making a connection between the gateway and the media set. Okay. Click save and reset to enable recording. You need to set the recording option in the line appearance of phone to be recorded. So choose device phone. So you, you can choose which phones should be recorded and which not. So with the phones, it's so specifically for the phones you want to record calls on, you can do that. So we go to the phones, choose uh, CIPC1, line one to open its settings. So only on line one, the calls that, that are taking place will be recorded, right? Scroll down to line one on device HQ CIPC1 section to see the recording settings. So you'll find a recording option there. Information. Now enable recording for a line appearance. So when you scroll down, you see an option there. Collab record. Uh, yeah, collab recording profile. You will find under the recording option and then choose automatic call recording enabled. These are some settings we have to do here. And source option should be gateway as preferred. OK, and save and apply. Next, we can configure notification tones. So uh, your notifications are enabled. To choose system service parameters, select your CCM. And in Cisco call manager service, scroll down and go to cluster wide parameter feature call recording. So by default, call recording is not enabled. We have to enable it by enabling these features and settings. Choose true. It is set to false, so you have to change it to true. It's like enable now. True for both play recording notification to observe target and play recording notification tone to observe connected target option and save your settings. Next, configure uh, Cisco Unified Communication Gateway Service. This is required for monitoring. This is a prerequisite setting we have to do. Without this, it will not receive the traffic. So first, connect to the HQ Gateway enabled HTTP server. Because using the HTTP streams now from the gateway, it is sending it to the recorded recording server. So we have to enable HTTP service. The command for that is on, H on the gateway. We have to do this. IP HTTP server. This will enable HTTP. Then these are some commands UCWS API source address. This online, then provider XMF, no shutdown. These are some set of configuration commands we have to enable on the gateway. Then we have to go to this URL that the XMS provider will use to communicate with the communication manager. So specify, sorry, specify this remote URL in this configuration. So specify that in this command. OK, remote URL 1, HTTP, we have to put this path. So this and then UCM XMF file. Now we want to validate. If it is successfully registered, we can use this command. In this, what we specifically want to see is your app name unified CM should be shown here. OK, that's it. Then verify the CCM manager network based recording with the gateway. So to verify that, now what we are going to do is dial this number to make a test call from PSTN to HQ phone. From outside, we'll 
make a call to an on inside mm -hmm. of your network. Accept the call. Keep it active while your call is active. Connect to HQ gateway and check for any active media forking mm -hmm. sessions. Mm -hmm. You should see that gateway is sending two media streams to the recording server. OK, we can verify that by show call media forking on the gateway. It should show you two sessions. OK. So it is like for the receiving and sending traffic. OK, then we go to the same way like on the previous lab we had on PC one this file, Excel's file. Audio file to use as a. File to generate the audio, right? So we we'll use the same file. Hang up after you ensure that the gateway is active. OK, so what we are going to do is make a call from your PSTN phone to the HQ phone. Accept a call, play this audio and then hang up. To verify your recording, you can connect to MediaSense in the Firefox. So we, MediaSense can also be uh, accessed like CUCM and Unity Express on the Firefox, right on the browser. So the IP of MediaSense here is 10.1.5.10. So we use this IP, we'll go to Media Sense Search and Play. You have to choose this uh, from some options that it will show you from the list of installed application like this. So when you put this IP, you have two options, Cisco Media Sense and Cisco Media Sense Search and Play. So you have to click the second one, Search and Play. Then it will ask you to accept the sign certificate. Just do that and log out in. Now it's asking you to log in as a user. So it's logging in as J Doe, John Doe as the user. Uh, that is pre-configured as the administrator having the access to the media sense. So in recent call pane, you should see one call initiated under media sense. When you log into it, you will see recent calls pane in which you will see one call initiated by PST and CIPC. There is uh, on the right hand side, you will see a plus sign. You can click that and some call details will open there. It's like this. It shows you like this here. Uh, in your line, you'll have to scroll a little here. You will see a play button here. So you can just simply play this and you will hear the recording. The way file we used to generate the audio, you can hear that. Click the play button to confirm that your call has been recorded successfully. You can scroll through the recording and download it or even delete it. So what uh, the administrator who is who has the access to the recording server can do is play, download, delete all these things. 